Hey guys, it's Jeff and we are back with another super short tutorial and in this video we are showing you how you can get the on-screen home button onto your iDevice and how you can use and customize that as well. Let's get started. Okay, so the on-screen home button is typically useful if you have a home button that doesn't work, if you still have a device that has one. But a lot of users out there just like the on-screen home button because it actually can expand into a menu that is quite helpful. Also, it can be used as sort of a shortcut with specific tap and movement commands. So to access this feature, first you need to open up the settings app on your iDevice. From there, go on to general and then find the accessibility menu. Once you are in this menu, scroll down to the interactions menu where you will see the assistive touch menu. Go inside and then you will find the option to add assistive touch to your screen at all times. Now when you have this virtual button on screen, you have a lot of options. So first is first, you can move it wherever you want on your screen. So that's a really cool option if it's somehow getting in the way of your app experience and you want it in a different position. So you can also customize the different taps you can use on this button. So the single tap is traditionally used to open this menu, but you can set up a double tap command a long press command, and also a 3D or force touch command. All of these can be selected by you and you will have full control of how these different tap commands work. Now below those options you have the idle opacity option and this is basically an option that allows you to control how visible this on-screen button is when you aren't using it. So choose how visible you want it to be and then you can go about using your iDevice. Below that option, you can set up gestures as well, which is super cool, and that really just adds to the customization options you have with this button. So guys, that was just a super short tutorial on how you can access this virtual on-screen button for your iDevice and how you can make some customization options to make it extremely helpful for your everyday use. If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a like and also consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this in the future. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video.